You are average. I don't mean that you're an average person, but you're the average of the environment around you. The people in your life, your home, your family, and your upbringing. These things dictate what kind of person you're going to be in no small way. As in what kind of person you're going to be, how much money you're going to make, and what kind of job you're going to have. If your environment is poor by no mistake of your own or by your own choices, it makes life a lot more difficult because it's going to be a lot harder to get to the next level if your environment is shitty. In COVID, I ended up in a poor environment due to circumstances and my own actions. My friend group at the time was my support system. And with COVID happening, that obviously got taken away from me. I was also going through a hard breakup during that time, so I wasn't going into the situation in a good headspace. So what made my environment so bad that I'm telling you this now? Due to my habits and actions in high school, my room and my home wasn't a great healing environment for me because all around me were unhealthy coping mechanisms that I've developed during my high school years. And my only healthy coping mechanism was locked away in their own homes, my friends. The things I used to cope with were nicotine, weed, social media, and video games because that's all I had in my room. That's what I set in my room as a teenager. And this is not really uncommon, but it's not normal for a teenager to be locked in their unhealthy room. And that's what destroyed me. It made me the average of what my environment was. And that's why I'm talking about this in my video. This doesn't mean just a shitty room that you're stuck in in COVID. This means the friends that you surround yourself with, the family that you have and you probably are stuck with, and the home that you're living in. Now we know that your environment is important for any outcome in your life. How do we create a better environment around us? Let's start with the easiest one. And that's just your room, your house. What can we change around your house to have a better environment? The first step is to remove all the electronics from your room. That way you're not distracted or procrastinating on things that you actually need to get done by sitting in your bed watching random social media. The next step is to clean because an organized room is an organized mind. So now you already have a better environment around you. So what about your friends? I understand that this is going to be a very hard topic to cover because I know how hard it is to find really good genuine people in your life. But the way to find healthy social circles is by finding healthy activities and the people that follow them. Like a book club, a sports club, a fighting club. You'll find really great people there because they're all there for one thing and it's a really good activity. Because what they're doing is already healthy and you're only the average of your environment, right? So if their main goal is to be more positive and more active, you're already in a better community than you were before. And lastly, family. If your family is bad and treating you poorly, it is the one of the most miserable things in the world and I don't have experience with this, so I don't feel like I can talk about this. If you're suffering from this, please reach out to someone who can help and do the other things in this video if you can. And lastly, just to wrap up this video, remember that you're only the average of the people around you, your environment, and your family. So just remember that and remember to shape your environment to your needs, wants, and desires. That's all for today's video. If you like this kind of content, I would really appreciate a subscription today. It would really help me out. A like and comment can go a long way. And remember to love yourself so you can save yourself.